Hi, my name is Jim Murphy. I'm the site manager at Dulwich Upper Wood. And these are some of the events that we've been carrying out in the wood with Embrace Cooperation. Hedge laying is very important. It's uh, quite an ancient art. People have been doing for hundreds of years, really, or thousands of years. And it involves, it's quite a complicated one, it involves taking trees that are becoming mature, so so trees that are growing up, up to about three metres or over three metres in height. Once those trees have got to that height, what happens is, is the base of the tree no longer has vegetation on it, so you've just got the base of a single tree. So you've got a lot of lines of different trees, if you like. What you don't have is you don't have a barrier at the bottom. And that barrier is quite important and it was particularly used for keeping in livestock. The idea of hedge laying is to take the tree, to cut it at the bottom of the tree and bend it over, still leaving some of the bark and the cambium intact. We put stakes in to hold them there and then we bend it over in such a way that it's still attached to the tree but it's laying horizontally and you weave the, the pleachers as they're called, the bits that have been laid horizontally, you weave those together to hold the whole thing down so that the pleachers don't actually spring back up again. And once that's done, the, actual, the trees start sprouting from the horizontal pleachers. So that creates a, a live hedge a live living hedge that's that is also will make it dense at the bottom again if you like so you're 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 creating a, a barrier at the bottom so that things like livestock can't escape the, the reason that we do hedge laying here is for two reasons first of all to show the art of hedge laying because it's quite important that people a lot of people haven't seen it before or haven't done it before we do it for that reason but also it's for wildlife benefit because when you lay a hedge it allows the different species to be spread out along the whole of the length of the hedge Coppicing is slightly different to the way we cut down the trees from tree felling. With coppicing you're cutting it down with the aim of the tree regrowing. Tree felling involves predominantly one person doing a particular type of cut called a bird's mouth, which is almost like a V cut that looks like an open bird's mouth, which is why it's called a bird's mouth. There's a lot of preparation involved, first of all, in thinking about where the tree is going to go, what might be in the way of when it falls, any sort of people or any paths that may need to be blocked off so that people can't come through them while we're doing the tree felling. And then we do another type of cart called the felling cart at the back, and eventually that creates what we call a hinge, so that the tree, instead of going really, really fast and falling, falls down very gradually. Oh, here we go. Ooh. When you when you coppice an area, because you're clearing the area of trees effectively and you're creating more light coming in, it's a bit like glade creation in a sense because you're clearing it so that other wild plants and wildflowers can come up instead, creating more diversity again. Once the trees start to grow back on the coppicing, it then creates different habitats, so you have different stages of habitats throughout the whole coppice cycle. Hazel hurdles are made as a byproduct generally of coppicing. We, we coppice the hazel and then we use that to make hazel hurdles. They're a traditional product and it's made of thicker hazel poles which you can either embed them in the ground or you can make a particular type of piece of wood with holes in it that you fix to the ground which you then put the poles in. Then you weave the thinner hazel poles between the posts and then push them all down and that gradually makes a nice looking natural woven hazel hurdle which can be used predominantly for blocking areas off or for shading areas or for selling even. <laughs>